about now, I'm thinking old TJ has to be regretting that witty line of his. Ultratech provides all of this and more. I'm smashing this party! Death comes to all. Except me. Killer Instinct is a free-to-play fighting game you can get on Windows 10 or Xbox One, if you actually have one. When you look at KI, it's probably one of the more intimidating fighting games you'll watch, and it really does come across as a more niche fighting game, but when you actually play the game, it ain't bad at all. But if you're coming from absolutely no fighting game experience, except maybe Smash, you're probably turned away from fighting games for some common reasons. Let me start with this because I'll be referring back to this in a bit. 50% of the fun of fighting games is knowing what you and your opponent are doing. The other 50% isn't winning, but improving. A ton of people don't play traditional fighting games because they say it's too complicated of inputs, or requires hours of training, which I can't really say I agree with either at casual play. Let me break it down for you. A common misconception is that there's too many mechanics to learn and that this is the difficulty barrier with fighting games. That ain't true. The actual difficulty barrier isn't how you play, it's who you play. A lot of kids nowadays play at home and usually online against strangers or against the computer. First things first, the CPU in a fighting game, 9 times out of 10, is useless for helping you actually learn. But with strangers on the internet, there's gonna be a big skill difference and they're probably really good. Friends and tutorial modes are the keys to getting good enough to play a fighting game casually. First, let's talk about friends. Alright guys, I'm picking Cloud. <laughs> Here he uh, that's, that's pretty close. It doesn't matter who you are or what kind of background you're coming from, friends are going to make you learn what you're doing. In other words, improving. This means that playing with friends is pretty much guaranteed fun. Whoa! Let's take a quick trip back in time to the arcade. You and your friend pop in quarters into KI and go at it at button mashing until one time. One of you starts doing a combo. You go, dude, how the hell did you do that? and then you get in trouble because you're not allowed to say hell. He goes, I don't know. Then you both sit there and try to figure it out and you go and figure out together how combos work. And suddenly you and your friends are learning about openers, auto doubles, linkers, and enders, and you don't even know what they're actually called, you just know how to do them. There are a ton of people out there that know how to play Street Fighter, but they don't even know what the hell a DP is because they just never heard the term. Which is another thing, knowing terminology and whatever doesn't really matter, as long as you could physically, you know, do it. Eventually you both learn what you're doing and once you learn the fundamental mechanics of a fighting game, you can get a pretty good idea on how everyone in the game plays and learn their unique properties as you go along and you both start having fun. Learning is rewarding. So we come to this issue where you don't have anyone to play and want to play online at least casually. There is a solution. Tutorial modes. Tutorials teach you every mechanic you thought you needed to train for hours with to learn. Killer Instinct's tutorial mode is very good and teaches you exactly what you need to hop online and play. The best part about the new KI and this quote unquote fighting game problem is that KI is free to play. You and your friend, or just you in the tutorial mode, can learn how to play the game. KI is a very secure ticket into getting into fighting games because of its accessibility and methods of conveying both sides of fun. KI doesn't have too high of a skill ceiling either compared to other fighting games, as surprising as that sounds. You probably won't be doing these stage ultras or whatever by the end of the day, but you really don't need to in order to play casually. However, learning them does make a great end goal. All that is required to play a fighting game casually online, knowledge of fundamentals. Once you know the fundamentals, not only are you having 50% of the fun from the game, but you're going to improve at the game too because you're always constantly learning from playing, which is where the other 50% of the fun comes from. And when you win, it is so, so, so satisfying. And when you reach that point of doing stage ultras and flashy pointless combos, you feel amazing in every Everything you're doing is so rewarding and you feel good and it hooks you in and you can't stop playing and suddenly the game just took hours out of your day. Like I am still shocked to this day how much I can just put in a fighting game and start playing online casually and somehow 
hours have just gone by and I don't understand it. This Vetrospec was requested by Patron Apex Arcade. Patrons of $10 or more are allowed to request a game for Vetrospect. If that interests you at all, or if you just want to support the show, head on over to patreon.com slash smashingveteran.